So this is a Bailey Senator Wyoming. Just going to take you through the van and show you how it operates. Front of the van, you've got your jockey wheel, hitch and handbrake, and also your ATC on the front of the van. This is all stuff we'll take you through while you're here on site. In the front locker, you have your gas bottle regulators, uh, gas bottle regulator, and your gas bottle tie downs. You can connect. You can have two six kilogram propane gas bottles in the van at any time while you're towing. Um, and then it's a reverse thread fitment that goes into the gas bottle and the gas tail connects to the regulator itself. You've then got your spare wheel in the front locker also and your hitch cover for the caravan. On the side of the caravan at the front you've got your wind down legs to stabilise the caravan while it's on site. Got a barbecue gas point so you can have gas coming out to your um, barbecue for instance if you wish to. You've then got your water pump connection in the side of the van, which connects here. So you pull out the pump or push it in to connect the pump up. The pickup pipe drops down inside the aqua roll itself. You've then got your true heating and hot water flue. You'll need to remove this if you're using the caravan on gas for the heating and hot water. That will be clean by the time you see the van. Anytime you ignite the heater or hot water on gas, you do need to. Um, you need to remove that cover. You've then got your two fridge vents. The two fridge vents are very simply there to allow hot air out the back of the fridge unit and to take some cool air in. And then you've also got a gas flue for when you're running the fridge on gas. Motor mover and wheel nuts. We'll demonstrate the motor mover while you're here on site and we'll also torque the wheel nuts to the correct manufacturer setting prior to the caravan leaving site. The fresh water that goes in the front of the caravan has to come out somewhere and that comes out through these two grey pipes here. So you have two bits of grey pipe that you drop down inside a waste master and that water that goes in the front will come back out down the side here. On the side of the caravan at the back you've got your toilet flush tank. So you open this up and you put three and a half litres of water in here and a cap full of the pink fluid prior to use. Then at the bottom you've got your toilet waste cassette which you release by pulling up the orange handle and pulling the cassette towards you. The neck here turns out so you can tip the waste away. The grey cap is a measure for your pink and your blue fluid. And on the back of that cassette you've got an orange pressure relief button so when you are tipping the waste away it doesn't spit and splatter back at you. In this cassette you'll need to put one litre of water and a cap full of the blue fluid prior to use. In the toilet flush tank, like I said, it's three and a half litres of water and a cap full of the pink fluid. On the back of the caravan on either side you've got your wind down legs again to st stabilise the caravan. Um, they are just there for stabilising, not lifting the van. On the door side at the back here, you've got your storage locker for underneath the bed at the rear of the caravan. You've got your battery box where your battery lives and your motor meter power switch and your main lead plugs into. And then the last thing we've got on this side of this particular caravan is, is the, to is the uh, power out to your awning. So you've got a three pin socket and a wind down leg out the front. Inside the door, as you come into the caravan, you've got your master power switch here at the bottom to turn all the power on inside the caravan. At the top, you've got your voltmeter for your battery on board the caravan. You've got your internal light on the switch to the left-hand side here. You've got your gas box light for the front at the front of the caravan. And then you've got your awning light on the bottom right-hand side here. On the left-hand side switch here, you've actually got your water pump runs, and I'll come back to that in a moment. You've got two ways of filling the water system on board this caravan. Whichever way you fill the caravan, before you do anything, you need to open all the taps up on the hot side of the water system. As you can see, I've already bled the system, but you'd leave all these taps open on the hot side to fill the water system up. You'd then come underneath the seat on the right-hand side of the caravan here, at the front. I'm just going to move the hoover out of the way, as you can see, it's still cleaning the van. And underneath here, you have your drain down and fill valves. So just here, where this white pipe, just here, can't quite see it in the video, but there's a yellow valve. That yellow valve is the drain down and fill valve for the water system on board the caravan. When the caravan's in storage, we do advise all of the water system is completely drained and there is no water left in the caravan over the winter. If you want to fill the, the hot water tank up directly from the aqua roll and straight to the taps you'll need to have both of these blue taps pointing straight towards the side of the caravan if you want to fill uh, if you want to fill the onboard water tank from an aqua roll so that's the water storage tank that's underneath here as well you'll need to have this valve on the left hand side pointing forward and you'd need to spin this valve on the right hand side round into this position here. 
So you need to spin this valve all the way around so it's pointing towards us. If you want to run the taps from the onboard water tank, you will need to spin this valve around here towards us on the left hand side and have this valve pointing straight towards the outside of the caravan. So that is how you fill the onboard water system from the ACK roll or run the taps from the caravan. So like I said, to fill from the ACK roll both straight to the hot water tank, straight both taps straight on. If you want to run the taps from the onboard water tank, you need to spin this valve round on the right left hand side here towards us and have this one pointing towards the outside of the caravan. And if you want to fill the onboard water tank, you'll need to have this tap on the left hand side pointing towards the outside and you'll need to turn this tap so it's pointing towards us. Once you've got them valves set in the right position to how you want to fill the system, if you want to fill the onboard water tank, you will need to set this switch here to fill and that will fill that onboard water tank. If you just want to run the taps directly to the, if you want to run the ACK roll directly to the taps, you'll just put this switch on run. Like I said, whichever way you do this, you'll need to continue filling the system until you have water running out of every tap continuously on board the caravan. Once you have that water system full, you can then start thinking about warming the water on board the caravan. So just in front of the door, as you come into the van, you've got this switch here, which is for your electric water heater. So when that switch is turned on and you connect it to mains power, the water system will warm up via the mains. On the top here, you have the gas control for running the water heater on gas. To operate it, you'll spin this outer gray dial to the flame symbol here and the green lights in the back of here will indicate that the boiler has ignited on gas. If the red light appears in here, it means it has failed to ignite, as you can see. And if it does ignite, you can control the water temperature between 30 and 70 degrees on this dial at the front here. And to turn the gas supply back off, you'll spin it to the off position. On the other side of the caravan, we've got our heater. So you can run this on electric or gas also. You can spin the dial here on the left hand side to control the heater on gas. You'll hold down the gas valve with the gas connected at the front and the gas turned on. And when it ignites you'll have a pilot light in the window at the front of the heater. Once it has ignited you'll need to continue to hold down the gas valve for a further 5-10 to 10 seconds. Then slowly release the valve. You can turn off the gas supply by turning the gas control here back to the zero position. If you want to use the blown air heating on the caravan on gas or electric. You can do that by the dial on the right hand side here. You've got your fan speed control on top. The dot in the center indicates the heat is gonna come out the front of the heater. The wave symbol on the left hand side here indicates continuous blown air. And then on the A on the right hand side, it actually means that the blown air will cut in and out with the thermostat on board the caravan. The control that you see up on the wall here, just below the tele brackets, etc., or the tele mount, etc., is the main power switch for the room heater. So you need to have this on for the room heater to work. You'll then spin the dial, the grey outer dial, to select the correct power supply for what you have on the site you are on. So, for instance, some sites will have 500, 1000, or 2000 watts of power available. You will select the correct power source and then control the temperature of the heater on this dial in the center. The higher you go with the numbers, the hotter the heater will be. Turn the heater back off, spin the dial round to the off position in the center there, and it will isolate the heater. The fridge is very simple to use in this caravan. You've got a control here on the left hand side. It's off when it's in the top position. You can spin the dial round to the plug symbol and then control the temperature of the fridge on this dial on the right hand side. You've got the option to run 12 volt when you're towing down the road, so essentially you can use the fridge as a cool box. When you are using the fridge as a cool box, you'll have no temperature control on the right hand side, as it does not work in that way, it is just a cool box rather than a fridge. To run the fridge on gas, you'll spin the dial to the bottom here, press in the temperature control valve and hit the igniter at the same time. When the fridge ignites on gas, the little red line here in this window will come round into the green and once it's ignited, it will stay in the green. Again, you would need to hold in this gas button for a further five to 10 seconds once it has ignited and then slowly release the valve. You can then control the temperature of the fridge on the dial just here when you're on gas or mains. 
hob, cooker and grill, all work very much the same as your household appliance. No difference at all there um, with your igniter on the front and your gas controls for the hob and grill, uh, grill and oven on the front of the oven and then your grill control, uh, hob controls on the side of the hob. Going through into the bathroom of the, ca bathroom of the caravan, you have your electric flush on the toilet, just here. You have your toilet full indicator light that illuminates red just here when that cassette is full. The toilet seat itself turns for your convenience as you can see. However, when you're removing the cassette from underneath the van, it needs to be on the straight position with the back of the toilet. Below the toilet you have your grey waste handle, which you need to have open when you use the white toilet waste or toilet, toilet itself. And then when you remove the waste cassette, it needs to be back in the central position so when you remove the cassette it doesn't damage the toilet waste cassette itself. So that is the Bailey Senator Wyoming. If you have any further questions on the caravan, please don't hesitate to give us a call here at the Caravan Company and we'd be more than happy to help. We appreciate your business and we look forward to seeing you here on site soon. Thank you for now. Bye-bye.